Green infrastructure is a nature-based, engineered solution to stormwater issues. It encompasses small, mid, and large-scale projects, ranging from rain gardens in your backyard or community park to restoration of entire natural ecosystems. The practices are designed and engineered to work with nature to capture, store, and treat stormwater runoff in ways that provide both water quantity and quality benefits. Leveraging the best practices of traditional gray infrastructure with nature-based practices of green infrastructure leads to notable impact in reducing flooding and cleaning water. Traditionally, managing flood volume has been separate from treating water quality. Green infrastructure addresses both of those issues. Undeveloped areas with native vegetation can trap and slow runoff allowing the water to seep into the soil where heavy metals and excess nutrients are removed. Pervious surfaces like this protects communities from flooding while also improving water quality. Implementing green infrastructure practices at every level is an effective way for communities to upgrade their stormwater management infrastructure with impact seen at the community, municipal, and regional level. Let's take a look at three examples of green infrastructure in practice. Sheldon Lake State Park resides on land that was once pristine coastal prairie crossed by fertile marsh. Throughout the 20th century, it was converted to farmland and the construction of the Sheldon Reservoir erased most of its original wetland features. That all changed in 2003 when efforts to revitalize the area began on the 89-acre habitat restoration. In a partnership involving several state and non-government organizations, the Sheldon Lake State Park Wetland Restoration Project was underway. Teams used georeferencing tools to locate and excavate the wetlands in their original locations, giving the re-exposed marsh a significantly better chance of taking hold and thriving. The project was divided into five phases, with phase one completed in 2006 and phase five completed in the summer of 2019. Visitors of the park are able to see each phase of the restoration process, and native species have returned in abundance. The beauty of the park is an important amenity, but perhaps most importantly, this wetland has a significant impact on the quality of water in the region, and serves as a buffer against some of the harshest flooding events. Sheldon Lake State Park is an important example of how governments can create a big impact on their region but local municipalities are also incorporating green infrastructure techniques into their communities. Formerly a golf course in the Clear Lake area, Exploration Green is a complex of five stormwater wetlands serving the community with flood mitigation and outstanding recreational amenities. The constructed wetlands accomplish both of the initial goals of green infrastructure, as they not only slow stormwater, but also remove pollutants and excess nutrients from the water. Phase one excavation began in 2016. The first detention basin was still being excavated when Hurricane Harvey hit in August 2017. Even in its unfinished state, the basin held an estimated 100 million gallons of water, saving the neighborhood from significant flooding. Volunteers work at the Exploration Green Nursery to harvest and plant native flora, which is then planted along the newly created wetland. This in turn attracts native wildlife, which find refuge in an attractive ecosystem in the wetland. Residents of the community enjoy miles of hiking trails next to the naturally beautiful scenery. There is even evidence to support that homes adjacent to the park have a higher property value, and the presence of birds and other wildlife are even connected with a lower mosquito population a true value add to any Texan. The Girardi Family Water Smart Park is an attractive neighborhood park in suburban League City. In addition to its beautiful green space, it also features some of the simplest and yet most effective forms of green infrastructure. The pavilion is outfitted with a green roof, where native plants thrive in their own ecosystem, a dozen or so feet above the ground. Runoff rainwater is collected in specialized tanks, which are used throughout the park reducing the demand for water from underground pipes. Specially designed bricks in the parking lot have a porous structure that allows for rainwater to seep in and be absorbed and filtered by a layer of rocks below the bricks. 
Any additional water is channeled towards one of the park's many rain gardens, which are carefully designed layers of rocks and other materials. This process slows down, spreads out, and soaks in rainwater, which greatly reduces the burden of flooding events on traditional drainage pipes. Even the green space itself plays a role. With attention and effort put into maintaining as many of the native trees and vegetation as possible in the park, each of these plants do their part to absorb rainwater and provide habitat for birds and other wildlife. Green infrastructure incorporates natural methods to reduce flooding and clean the water supply using modern engineering design and construction techniques. Examples like porous bricks, green roofs, and rain gardens are examples of what just about anyone can accomplish in their own backyard. Communities can utilize green infrastructure to rethink and repurpose already existing open spaces to develop attractive ecosystems which reduce neighborhood flooding and beautify the neighborhood. Regional governments and organizations can work towards restoring entire wetland ecosystems, providing sanctuary for native plants and animals, and creating a big impact on flooding events. At every level that green infrastructure is incorporated, the net result is overwhelmingly positive. A reduction in flooding, a cleaning of the water, and more natural beauty.